with me on this one. So imagine that this is not a bear, but it is a cat. It's not just any cat. It is Schrodinger's cat. Now, why is that relevant to J.B. Priestley and an inspector calls? Well, Mr. Schrodinger is a physicist who is trying to explain particle physics at the quantum level. Now, the key thing to remember here is that at the quantum level, something can be a particle or a wave at the same time. Now, Schrodinger hated this idea. He said, you can't have things being one thing and the, another thing at the same time. It's either a bear or it's a cat, Mr. Salas. For this example, it is a cat. And he said, look, I'm going to show you how ridiculous this idea of quantum physics is. Priestley, of course, really interested in quantum physics. So he said, imagine that we have my cat, Schrodinger's cat. And, you know, imagine that we stick it in a box. So here we go. This, of course, is going to be my box representation. It's actually a door. Oh, God, blimey, what a, what a cat. Oh, oh. The cat is in the box. Who cares? Well, here's the thing. We have Eva Smith, who is, according to the inspector, dead. But when they ring up, they find that there is no dead woman in the mortuary. So Eva Smith is both dead and not dead at the same time. This is quantum physics. The cat, Schrodinger's cat, is alive and also dead because it represents what is going on at the quantum level. In the box, there is a poison. The poison will be released when a particle decays radioactively. And so when that radioactive decay happens, a poison will be released and it will kill the cat. However, at the quantum level, that will not happen until you open the lid of the box. Only when you observe what is in the box will it either become a decaying particle or a wave, because the particle is a particle and a wave at the same time. It's only the act of observation that makes it one or the other. So Schrodinger is saying, this is absurd. We can't imagine my cat in the box. It's both alive and dead at the same time. That would be impossible. We can see how Priestley uses this though. Eva is both alive and dead until who observes her? The Burlings. If they observe her accurately, and realise what they've done to her, then she becomes alive. Schrodinger's cat lives. But if they fail to take responsibility, Eva dies. And that is what happens at the end of the play. The second phone call comes because they do not take responsibility. Schrodinger's cat is Eva. The way to explain this in the exam is to say that Eva's state is dependent on the Burling's repentance. Her state, alive or dead, is, if you like, suspended until the moment that the Burlings fully observe her. Because they don't take responsibility, they don't observe the real Eva, and therefore, she's gone. If you'd like loads more Grade 9 ideas, this is the video you should be watching now. No animals were harmed during the making of this video. Say bye-bye, Schrodinger. Bye-bye, Schrodinger.